Oris knows how to make a great watch. Their return to form has given us models like the Diver 65, the Big Crown Pointer Date, the Aquas, and the Pro Pilot. All of these designs are unique. Most of us know exactly what they look like just by hearing their names. So for a brand to produce a handful of great pieces like these with such a presence goes to show how much of an impact it has made. Oris is ambitious. And whether you're starting out in this hobby or are a seasoned enthusiast, Oris is always a great brand to choose. So when the latest rendition of the Pro Pilot X Calibre 400 launched, with an amazing exterior, full titanium case, superb details throughout, bracelet, seatbelt, buckle clasp, in-house movement, I was left impressed and empty, neutral. For me at least, there is one very important part to this watch that is so underwhelming, it almost spoils the rest of what makes it so special. And I shouldn't be saying this about a premium release from the brand. Please bear in mind that this is all subjective. So when we ask what defines a pilot watch, how could it best be described? Size, legibility, numerals, simplicity. Those are a few words that could be used. You know, the development of the pilot watch at this stage is not the most difficult formula to follow. So many brands have been involved with this niche for a century and even longer than that. A pilot watch should be all about its dial, should be all about legibility and full exposure so that the user can see every single detail. Legibility, luminescence, a broad handset, preferably lacking complexity to favor time telling, but this is an exception. Today, the modern pilot watch often can be a chronograph or have a GMT complication or simply a power reserve on display. There are so many incredible examples out there today that form the template that defines what the pilot watch is and what it should be. Now, the Big Crown Pro Pilot X made such a big splash when it arrived on the scene a few years ago. An all original design, entirely skeletonized movement, 10 day power reserve with so many additions that made it stand out from the seemingly endless sea of pilot watches today. You look at a design like this and first impression says that it belongs to an independent brand. Put MBNF, Uwork or Debethune on the dial, you wouldn't be surprised. The beauty is that it's only gotten better looking over time and that's something special. And what is quite mind blowing is that it can't take a bad photo. Every angle, front, back, side, three quarter view, it's fantastic. So it gives you this impression of being a hyper performance watch, one that has a strong link to a conceptual approach. You know, it looks like the interior of an aircraft with a bezel that represents a turbine in an knurling that's turning the opposite direction. The crown then mirroring this texture. Looking inside the watch, you have this full sweeping interior of skeletonized bridges, a huge mainspring, gauges, large handset. Yes, maybe it's not the most legible pilot watch in the world, but it still manages to scream this prototypical conceptual high performance machine. And this is the way a brand should debut its watch. Full guns blazing, give it everything. When we look to the Pro Pilot line offered by Oris and the gradual innovations in the way of world times, GMTs, day date complications, simple time and date variations, they all look great and they do look a part of the same family. A balanced, unoffensive typeface with a matte dial, great proportions, a minimal amount of text used, but then that underlying feature of a highly detailed turbine inspired bezel. Even though the Pro Pilot collection comes across looking fairly modern, it still manages to situate itself in a category that you would say belongs to a pilot watch. It looks like an instrument cluster. It looks like a gauge that you would find on the dial of a cockpit. And I mean, just look at the Pro Pilot alarm. I mean, what? Just look at it. Is that not the coolest looking watch you've ever seen? Counter threaded bezel playing off the crown knurling, a full inner ring for the date complication as well as an alarm function. And then there are other models out there with power reserves and small running seconds. The Pro Pilot line is so expansive and this is where the inspiration came from. So with all of that covered, the definition of a pilot watch being fairly large in size, legible, having experimental materials involved, maybe sharp edges, you incorporate things like turbine influences. We look at the introduction of the Pro Pilot X, how brilliantly this was handled, a standout design that breaks the conventional mold, communicating all of the right properties that make it a pilot watch, but also having this high performance influence. And then we look to the characteristics that has defined the Pro Pilot line for a very long time. With all of these elements laid out in front of you, you can see how the criteria of the pilot watch could be addressed so well. And with it, we get the Pro Pilot X sporting the new caliber 400. 
39 millimeters in diameter, 12 millimeters thick, a titanium case and bracelet with so many sharp edges that resemble what makes the ProPilot X special. A clear case back with a neatly arranged movement and then the flattest looking dial ever. You know, it's, it's hard to come up with an analogy for this. It's like baking the perfect chocolate cake. The sponge is spot on, the different layers are well separated, but the icing is Bovril or Marmite or Vegemite. You know, it tastes kind of interesting, but it's not a chocolate cake. And this is not a pilot watch. And the proof is in its name, Pro Pilot X, Professional Pilot Extreme. Such a finely finished, faceted edge, extreme looking case. The bracelet looks brilliant, but this dial is so formal in appearance, it belongs on a dress watch. And I can in a way see what they were doing with this because every brand is trying to make that one watch, that one hit wonder. You close your eyes and you imagine what one watch would suit me for the rest of my life. And some great examples come to mind like the Rolex Explorer, the Rolex Submariner, the Omega Seamaster, the Omega Aquaterra, the IWC Spitfire or the Mark 15. The list can go on and on. And as far as the everyday watch goes, it needs to be subdued, it needs to have a date complication preferably, low in profile with an automatic movement to make life easier, some good water resistance, light weight, something that works well casually or in a suit. And this new Pro Pilot does comply with that criteria. I think further about where the influences came from and maybe they looked to the modern Oyster Perpetual when choosing these colors. Or maybe they looked to Grand Seiko and their influence when combining a titanium chassis with gorgeous dials. In a way, it could be seen as a modern fashion statement wearing a watch with a bright pink salmon dial, a full titanium case and bracelet. But to demonstrate how much better this design could have been addressed, here are some renders of official Oris dials inside the stunning case and bracelet of the ProPilot X. Large numerals that are clear and uncluttered. How about a contrasting white dial with black numerals? How about the dial from the Okavango Air Rescue Limited Edition? Or some Fume finished dials from the Aquis with Loom? You see what I mean? Within Oris's product line, the opportunities are endless to take this template this simplified titanium chassis and create a whole series of pieces that are way more pilot focused. Of course, this is all subjective, what I'm saying. This without a doubt is a handsome looking watch. But every time I look at it, I see this glaring juxtaposition. You can't be giving a watch a title like Professional Pilot Extreme and then have two very divided components that don't seem to gel very well together. You know, this sense of sterility should not belong to a high performance sports watch. You have such great technology invested in the design of this watch. Considering the fact that the proportion and the scale of this entire piece is brilliant, with these entirely unique sharp edges on the bracelets around the case, then the turbine fluting on the bezel, the lift to open clasp that mirrors the seat belt buckle on a plane, the ProPilot X line deserves to be explored. Hell, it deserves to be exploited. The case and bracelet design alone on this watch makes me want to have one. The fact that it's in titanium is even better. But I have to ask this question about why the dials did not receive the same attention. Is it just me, or am I missing something here? I'd be really interested in knowing from you. Regardless of my opinion on this, the ProPilot X with a 39mm case has so much potential. Considering now that this is an in-house caliber and the watch is relatively affordable in full titanium, it is a step, or should I say a leap, in the right direction. To take home from this discussion, I wish this watch wowed me more. Try and say that three times fast. And I just hope that future renditions of the ProPilot X line uses the fundamentals and basics that Oris as a brand has already established and builds onto these things. Not simplifying the watch down and trying to be like its competition, but rather getting even more creative and making the ProPilot X a household name.